Say, man, social media have you questioning everything about your existence. So you may or may not know, but in this digital age or digital world, multiple studies have so- shown strong links between heavy social media or usage and an increased amount of mental health issues. Some of those mental health issues are depression, anxiety, loneliness, and some even have suicidal thoughts. Yes, indeed. So today we're going to talk about some of the ways social media can be taxing on the mind and what we do to tech our mental. You are now tuned in to Is My Point. going on everyone's 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 we here and we back with another episode of is my point valid yes indeed i am brandon d and i am camille a stalker and y'all know how we do it we're gonna go ahead and jump into it with what you know good so what you know good baby all right so this week in our homeschool lessons we learned about some cool people but i want to share two of those cool people with you <laughs> i want y'all to check out uh, two sculptures augusta savage and meta vo Wark fuller the sculpture that i want you to look at is called the harp it is a beautiful piece i want to go see it i want to touch it i know i can't touch it but it's 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 amazing um and meta vo Wark fuller's sculpture is called ethiopia and this is like representing uh how slavery, how we, some people did come originate from Africa. So that bondage of being in bondage and then being free from it. So it's a pretty nice sculpture. But one of the things about Medevo Warwick Fuller is she was one of Auguste Rodin's students and he was a sculptor as well. And he did the sculpture of the thinker. So to see those, just Google them. And I, I hope y'all enjoy it the way that I enjoyed it by just looking at it. Cause I, I like art a little bit. A little bit, but yeah, and that's all I wanted to share. So that's all I have for what you know good. So we're going to keep it on the chugging and uh, go ahead and jump into this topic that we mentioned previously before. But um, what the topic for today going to be, baby? Social media versus mental health. Yes, indeed. And whether we realize it or not, social media uh, promotes competition. So... For me, in photography and doing videos and all of that stuff, I often look at social media and I see all the major things that other photographers and videographers and filmmakers, cinematographers, all that there. Mm -hmm. I see what they're doing and it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. Oh, really? So it can go one or two ways for me. I could either use that as motivation. Yep. Or I can look at it like I wish I was them. Ah. And for many people. So which thought do you have the most? Honestly, I think it's 50 50. Because and, and I, I honestly, I I do look at some people and be like, man, I wish I was in that position. But at the same time, I have to I have to take a couple steps back and realize that I didn't put that work in yet. Ah, I, I'm not at that point. Got it. I haven't been doing it as long as them. Mm-hmm. So I have to, like I say, regroup mm-hmm. and realize that it takes work yep. to get there. Yeah. And looking at people, if you're not looking at people of uh, influence in your industry or whatever it may be, you need to be looking at these people as motivation. Right. And not looking at them as, man, why them? Why not me? Because that is the way your mind begins to tumble. What the ghetto boys say, mind playing tricks on you. Your mind playing tricks on you. Okay. Yeah. A real quick like. But yeah, that is one of the reasons. And I mentioned that first because it's personal for me. Got it. I I know that I'm not the only one who goes through these things. I I know even, and especially for people who are social media uh, into content creating and things like that, we'll look at a, a Mr. Beast or uh, the Hodge twins or something like that 
these men, Kevin, uh, 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 what is his name? Kev on stage. We look at these people and we, I mean, like I say, we look at them one or two ways, either motivation or envious. But we need to realize that being envious of someone is taxing on your mind. And that's where anxiety, depression, all of these things come into play mm-hmm. because you're worried about things that you cannot control. You really need to be focused on self. Right. So that is one of the main reasons why I feel social media is taxing on the mental. Okay. Competition. 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 I don't know if I have any secret competition because I really look at people and I, I, I kind of don't put myself in that. I kind of look at homeschool moms because I'm a homeschool mom as like, Oh wow. Why didn't I think of that? But yeah. it's not in a competition type of yeah. way. Cause as soon as I see that they did something, I go follow them like, straight up. <laughs> I don't be like on some hater stuff. Right. I go follow, but I, it might go in reverse. If some people looking at me like, Oh, what is, who does she think she is? She's new in the game. Yeah. Right. How is she coming up with all of, all of this? And so it might be some secret competition like that, but I try to look at things not in a in, in a competitive way and I am a very competitive person but that's like in games social media to me is not real does that make it's real but people are making it more than what it is what, more than what it should be people are painting this picture yes. of it of perfection yeah, absolutely and then that goes to another reason why I feel that people are having these issues is do I measure up? So social media might be like, you know how when you get got money and they'd be like, you're keeping up with the Joneses and in a way, social media is like, you're trying to keep up yeah, with the Joneses. If absolutely. that person is doing this, then I need to, I need do, to be doing this. I need it's to all be about a this. one up. I gotta yeah. be one up somebody. You can one up me all the time because I know matter. that I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing. And plus even my social media presence was not where it was supposed to be like anyway, cause I don't like sharing. So one of the things, and that's my competition might spike because I am sharing more because I, I have a goal. Yeah. And when you have a goal, you got to put some things and even, out there. E- even in your space, a lot of homeschool parents, I'm not going to just say moms cause there's men too. A lot of homeschool parents aren't taking the, that same approach as doing everything. No, nah, cause it's hard. It's hard. They're trying it's to work. learn. Yeah. And everybody's not also trying to be in a space where they want to be seen. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yes. That they're not trying to create anything. They are okay with being okay. Posting my kid did this. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to share that this is what my kid did. (laughs) Like there is no strategy behind it. It's just, I want to show y'all what we're doing and keep it moving. That's it. Yeah. And so you look at that and like you said, it's not, competitive there are some competitors though because i do see it Mm -hmm. but i'm not looking at you to to compete for nothing because we don't we not living the same lifestyle not at all most people aren't i mean but compared to to speaking for us most people aren't living the same lifestyle yeah i'm okay yeah do i measure up is a, a question people often ask themselves and another part of that is how do i get that how do I do what they doing? But those are like valid questions. How do I get that? Not, I'm not saying that you want the same things as somebody has, but how do I get that? Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But on the other side of that, if you're saying it with an envious oh, heart. I ain't coming from that. Yeah, yeah. Whether people realize it or not, what I see when people constantly post their accomplishments and the things that they're doing and the places they're they've gone. For validation. That's exactly what they're doing. They're asking for Whether validation. Whether you say it or not. Do you see me? I'm doing this. Hey, you need to see I'm over this here. and you need to acknowledge that I'm, I'm on doing vacation. This. I'm having a good time by myself yeah. in Mexico. I don't understand how you can have <laughs> such a good time and you got your phone in your hand the showing shade. you got everybody <laughs> that you're having a good time. If you having that good of a time, then you wouldn't even have your phone because you wouldn't be thinking about it. And so that goes 
you're you're portraying this type th- that you're this type of person on social media, mm-hmm. and I said I threw some shade. I did, but on the back end of that, you're staying in a hotel room by yourself, huh. lonely, lonely. Oh, look at the beautiful and and your brain. That's messing with your that's messing with Absolutely. your mental because you're thinking you got to get away. What are you running from? What are you running to? Huh. Social media. Yeah. Straight up. What a lot of people, whether they say it or not, they seek validation through social media. That makes most people feel real good. Because like they say, if you want somebody nobody supports you like a social media stranger. Oh man. You had people calling you bro and sis you ain't never met before Jeez in your life. Louise. I don't even know you, fool. How we bro and sis? But uh, that's another topic because that the, those terms are so so watered down. Because I will days. always say I have one sister. <laughs> those terms are so watered down. I have one sister. Okay, yeah. and that's my only sister. Mm-hmm, that's it. I'm gonna just one. But anyway, <laughs> move right along. <laughs> Going toward uh, speaking on the seeking validation and just po- people posting all of the good things and and, and, and all of the facades. I just told you today. Facade. <laughs> that, 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 say it for me. It's a facade. It's a, a facade. Deep. A facade. But anyway, I think a lot of people are uh, in fear of uh, missing out. What they call it? FOMO. FOMO. So they, they, that's why a lot of people feel like they need to be sitting at everybody's table. I know some people like this personally who just feel like they need to be everywhere everybody else is. They need to be in the, in the building or at the table or in the room. They want to be in everybody's room. I know people who will tell you that you need to be in that room and it ain't nothing in the room. So when you invite somebody to a room, make sure there's something in there for that person. That's mentally disturbing too. <laughs> It messes with my mental health. It messes with I my mental out health. Because I thought I was gonna man, miss out. Man, I was oh, I, <laughs> man say and peep this. You think it's gonna be a lot of people, so you anxious. Yeah. You feeling all kind of anxiety because you don't you don't know how you're gonna perceive be perceived in the room. Mm-hmm. But when you get to the room, ain't nobody in there. Who am I gonna see? Who am I gonna see? And if you know me, I get anxiety. But <laughs> straight up. I'd be stressing. If I know something that I have to do. Um, and this has, I guess this doesn't have anything to do with fear of missing out, but if I've only known you like on social media, but I know that I'm coming to meet you face to face in person. And I know like weeks ahead of time, I have anxiety, anxiety. Cause I'm overthinking, right? Absolutely. What am I going to say? Or am I going to be okay? Am I going to say something stupid? Mm-hmm. Am I going to know what I'm going to talk about? Like that is, pl- am I going to fit in it's mental, right? It's and half all the time, mental. I don't even fit in. Half the time, well, from for me, I, I fit in any room. I can I can have a conversation with anybody. I fit in in any room, uh, but I do feel what you're saying because most of the most people that we that that we've been in contact with don't share the same values that we do. But I'm saying I don't fit in. That's not a bad thing that I don't fit in. Yeah, you are an individual, right? Huh. That and that's that a lot of people are losing their individuality. Right. I can go into a room. And feel okay by myself. I don't need you to associate me with nobody. Nah. Associate me with me. Only person that you need to associate me with, if I'm in the room with Brandon, that is, this. Is, he needs to introduce me, right? This Straight is my up. wife. Straight up. <laughs> or if I hit this me, then this is my husband. Huh. But that's it. Like, that's it. You go into rooms and you... you st- you be you. And I think social media has taken that away from people as you being you because we use these so dang so much. much. You can walk in any room and I guarantee you if there's 15 people in the room, 10 of them are on their phone. I'm probably one of them. Yeah, I may just be two. I, 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 I'm probably one of them. Yeah. Or looking like, because the like I said, the conversation or whatever, but I've never had the fear of missing out out maybe i've had the feeling of like oh man you know but when you look, have. when yeah you have, <laughs> have. you want to do a story time or not nah? no no i mean you told one story where i feel like i was where i needed to be in the building and i really didn't really need to be in the building <laughs> but yeah um there's been several times where i felt a fear of missing out but more recently i mm-hmm. kind of catch myself with that because i know that 
if I don't catch it, you will. And yeah, I would always kind of because it does mess with your mental because you're thinking I should I be need there. To be. I, I need to be, to be yeah. in that room. Mm-hmm. But my thing has always been, OK, you need to be in that room. How come? But you're leaving what we're trying to do, right, to to grow. To accommodate somebody else's growth. And I'm not saying we don't want other people to win because I legit want everybody to win. But it's kind of hard to win for yourself when, you out when you're helping somebody. everybody else win. Right. So. so you got to be selfish. Speaking of that, going that's a good segue into some of the things that we do to uh, protect our mental. You got to be selfish. And I think. That a lot of people are not selfish enough. I am a selfish person. I'm going to tell you, huh. I'm a self, and I'm human, but I am selfish. Because guess who I'm going to look out for first? First, I'm going to look out for Camille. I'm going to look out for <laughs> But my husband and my children. Because th- this, is, this is us. This is what I have to deal with every day. This is the four. Yes. Nobody else needs to come into the four and disturb and disturb nothing. Because you're going to... Dang, I was... Gonna cuss. No, don't do that. It's gonna mess up my mess. No, don't do that. <laughs> I, went, nah, I, it no. looked, I got excited and it was coming. Golly. Calm down. Yeah. Hold my tongue. But so you're not gonna mess up, you know, the mental of of that. But I know, yo, I need to take care of me. And if I'm not cool, how am I gonna help you? Hey, I'm trying to tell you. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing for nobody else if you can't do it for yourself. Like, how am I going to help you? And I'm not good. No. But how many people know themselves, right? Like, how many people are able to say that? How many people take the time to get to know themselves before they try to jump into a relationship, jump on social media, they jumping, they doing all this, jumping and hopping, and they don't even know who they are? That's a lot of people. So you have all of these things in your ear coming from every which direction and you don't know what to listen to because you have no solid foundation within yourself to know what's good and what's bad for me. And you out here looking at social media and all these people winning and that's what you want. You, you, you no longer want to be the person who, who, who you looking at in the mirror. Now you want to be everybody that you see on social media. And you could be winning like it take work. I'm not even talking about winning and money winning not money, but in life winning. Did you wake up this morning? Oh, you, you won. Huh. Did you step out with your strong legs and step out of bed? Because huh. guess what? Some people can't step out of bed on their own. Hey. Some people need somebody to help them out. Some you, people ain't walking. You got to like, look at the positive how, and everything. How are you rich? And that, like, that has, that's, that's mentality. Because mm-hmm. mental, men, what's in the mentality? What are you willing to, to do to see yourself? Not money, not clothes. Not that material crap. You, when you look in the mirror, why do you, why are you anxious? Because I have to ask myself a lot. Why am I anxious? You know, mm-hmm. why do I, why do you feel lonely? I'm not a lonely person. I'm okay with being by myself. I got plenty of family. Like, I'm not a, a lonely person. I have never, like, why are you having suicidal thoughts? What has happened in your life? What is so bad? That, that you don't want to be here no more. That you do not. That you are willing to say, oh, God, just I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I've never had those thoughts, so I can't I'm, can't speak on that or, or anything like that. But I think it takes the, the step of, and also knowing yourself, um, if you have to talk to somebody, therapy, you know. Um, I know a lot of people would be like, well, I, I would say God, too. like, But I know some people don't, but. I feel like go that find is. you a person <laughs> therapist or something. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, no, get to know you. What, what, what do you like? Do you mm-hmm. like chocolate ice cream? Do you like vanilla? You, some people might not even know, but you know, that person over there who she loves vanilla. What Beyonce like? birthday <laughs> is such and such. Her favorite color is such and such. Man. What's your favorite color? What you like? What do you enjoy? Do you enjoy sitting outside? What do you like to watch on TV? You know, what, what do you like besides being on know social media? Know thyself. Know thyself. What makes you smile? What will make you happy? Do you enjoy flowers? Then go buy yourself some flowers. I'm just giving points, and that goes like, into self care. Yeah, you gotta you, you gotta do things for yourself. You gotta be a little selfish sometimes. I said I was selfish, and self care is also not 
or I have to go get my nails done. I mean, if that's what you do, then that. But self care yeah. is also sitting down and, and acknowledging yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Or if you want to get your nails and your toes done, you know, all, what, that. all that. You, you can do that too. Spa all day. That's that's wonderful. But mm-hmm. I also feel like self care is just, hey, it's important. Yeah, it is. And sometimes it's also important to uh, just put your phone down, turn your phone off. Like I asked, I asked you the other day, when's the last time you turned your phone off? When I got it. No, I didn't say that. Don't do that. No, you ain't say that. But that that was the answer. No, it wasn't because my phone has been turned off. Since when? I don't know, but don't try and do like it hasn't been uh, done since I first got it. Because you're trying to be funny. I didn't have the phone for a while. so. But yeah, like I was saying, (laughs) sometimes you just need to turn it off. Unplug. Unplug. Get off of social media. Go find you some real people to be around. Have real conversation. You don't always have to text people. We need to get back to getting on the phone and having uh, a conversation. I'm okay. You don't want to get on the phone and have no conversation? I'm not a talkative person. Well, you're going to have to communicate. I'm talking about when you do communicate, it needs to be over the phone. Oh, that's different. Yeah. That's different. Spend some time with some real people. I communicate on the phone every day. Yeah. Somebody calls me every day. Every day? Every day. Every day. Well, everybody don't have somebody to call them every day. So... Yeah. You want me to be your person to call you every day? I'll call you. You going to call me? I just call and say hello. hello. I just call. Hey, how you doing? Do you say I, I love, love you? Huh. Oh, another thing I would say is set limits on uh the time spent on social media. Oh, limits? Limits. What sort of boy do? Limits. Limits. <laughs> just straight up. Not yeah. a limit. Yeah. I got to limit myself. Absolutely. It's just like anything. Too much of anything is not a good thing. It, that's right. So we have to set lit boundaries. Boundaries on social media. Huh. Yeah. We have to set those boundaries. To protect your mental. Absolutely. But that goes back to the fear of missing out. Absolutely. Sure does. So, because if your phone is not in your hand, and you, if you're not seeing it, you won't even know what's happening. There's a lot of things. It's so funny because I have what is the cleaned up some things on Facebook and on Instagram, and so I don't see things hmm. right. And so Brandon be like, "Did you see? No, nope. I ain't see that foolishness. I didn't see it. No, I can't tell you what was happening. Nothing because no. I and this this goes to." I'm trying to get to where I'm going, and I ain't got time for what everybody else is we doing. We got that. Yeah, y'all know how uh, the vision. horses, no, the, they got on the blinders. Yeah. Tunnel vision, same thing. But I said no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, the no. blinders. You got to put them blinders on so you can't see what's on your left and your right. See, if the blinders wasn't on the horse, the horse be all over the place. You mm-hmm. be walking all over, looking at everything. No, we don't need you doing that. We need you looking straight. Train your mind. Train your brain. We need you brain. looking straight. Yeah. Set limits. Set like, uh, like we said, well, we said set limits. But um, use your calendar. Use your phone timer. Mm-hmm. Write it down. If you're a person who likes to write it down, I like to write stuff down to see it visually. I have to see it. Yeah. I mean, you have to figure out what works for. Absolutely. What works for you. The, this is just, this is not a, a set in stone. These are just some suggestions mm-hmm. for people who are dealing with mental health on social media. Um, maybe you just need to put your phone down and not look. Yeah, because social media has set up even how people's homes look. If you look at a lot of social media and how people have recreated their homes, like with the grass walls and the white couches and all this, yeah. and then you emulate that same thing. It's all trendy. You look all that. Like, look here. I ain't got time to be keeping up with y'all. When you come in my house, you're going to see toys. Okay. Or books. You're going to see books. You're huh. going to see toys. You're going to see something that the girls have set up. Oh, jeez. Legos everywhere. Everywhere. Dolls. Okay. Yeah. I'm a mother. I'm at home. And I am the neatest person in the whole wide world. But when you have two children. It's different. Oh jeez. And they're no. and they're seven and nine and they're still just messy. Ugh. Yes, indeed. Mental so mental health. 
Uh, what are some of the things you do to protect your mental? Do you unplug? Do you see social media as a, com- a, a, a competitive platform? Mm-hmm. If so, which which platform do you use the most that you see that you are being competitive yeah. with? Just remember, self-care is so important. And not just from social media, just in general. We need to be uh, aware of the things that make us click or tick or th- or lack thereof. We need to know ourselves before we get out here and try to emulate anybody else or what they got going on. So, yeah, social media is very taxing <laughs> on the mental health. And uh, with that, we're going to keep it on and moving because uh, we got to get up out of here. So we're going to go ahead and bust y'all in the head one time with uh, on this day in black history. So today is. October the 3rd, in October the 3rd, 1995, my boy, mm, your boy, our boy, Mr. O.J. Simpson was found not guilty for the murder of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman, but on October the 3rd in 2008, they got his ass. Wow. <laughs> He was found guilty for kidnapping, robbery, and other charges for a Las Vegas hotel robbery. Y'all remember when he went up there trying to get his stuff back? He tried to get his, stuff to get his own stuff back. Oh, man. God, dog. He can't even get his own stuff back. He was waiting on that boy to come through and do something stupid. So much so, they got him on the same day. That was not that was not a coincidence. They planned fired. that out. He was fired on his day off. <laughs> Man, got to be more careful. But uh shout out to OJ Simpson. Is he, yeah. is he out? Yeah, he's out. He, he on these streets. Social media he be on social stupid. media. He oh be Lord. Lord, y'all better watch out. It was like, he might got it on his mind again. But uh we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you to all our new subscribers, all our old subscribers, everyone who tunes in with us. Make sure y'all check us out on Anchor. We have all our episodes on Anchor, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast, we are there. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video if you like what we're doing. And um, we're gonna see y'all next week. Love, peace, and soul like soul Bye. train, baby. Yeah, chill. Yeah.